Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor and Spice back at it again with another watch along guys and today guys of course remember to subscribe first of all subscribe smash that like button and remember to share because sharing Ivor and Spice is caring. Boom! And today guys it is Crystal Palace 1 Manchester United nil. Manchester United getting beat by the Eagles. Another bird, another bird that we've lost. We've lost to the Seagulls. Now we've lost to the Eagles. We've been shattered on twice in a row. We've played against two species of birds and we've lost. We've lost. Manchester United, final game of the season. And these guys have let these Manchester United fans down. They have let the fans down. They've let their players down, um, they let themselves down, they've even let the new manager down, and if, in fact, today is Manchester, remember, and they've let the dead people down, these guys can't do it for dead people, for the fans, for their new manager, and for themselves, these guys make me sick, Manchester United fans, how are you feeling, last game of the season, and you think these guys, these players can turn up, you've had two weeks off, You've had time to train and fix up your performances because your new manager will be at the stand watching and you need to turn up to impress. But we all know a lot of these guys and a lot of these players won't be playing for Eric Ten Hag. They have let us down. They have let themselves down. They have let the people, the tragic people that lost their life in the Manchester disaster in Manchester United, in the Manchester, Eve, Manchester Arena a couple of years ago, 2017. They have let these people down. May their soul rest in peace as well. You man's trash. The goal, the game itself, guys, overall, poor start. Players were not up for it again. I can't believe that our goal difference is on zero. And this goes down to, back then, Mr. Wally Gunner Solskjaer himself. Wally Gunner Solskjaer, you was meant to compete. We ended the game, starting lineup was just, wow, youngsters as well. All the players that we sat, Ronaldo, Varane, and Sancho weren't even in the game, weren't even in the stone lab. Can you imagine the players we signed to compete, to win, to challenge? Let us down. It wasn't even there. To get, oh. Guys, it, it is what it is. That game, that game itself, the, the fact that the players were, couldn't be able to find the final third and everything, you ask yourself as well. The match started off with Man United and Crystal Palace evenly matched. Up, not that great great opportunities in the first 30 minutes Palace themselves when they made it 1-0 Wilfred Zaha Bruno Fernandes Bruno Fernandes you have been a problem I don't care if you're creating that much assist but what the hell are you doing with that Hollywood pass no look pass giving it away out of the middle of midfield to your own defenders you're going to give a Hollywood pass a no look pass just a hoof, one time pass to your to Wilfred Zaha, to Wilfred Zaha for Zaha to find his that goal like Lindelof, Victor Lindelof, man, you just can't hold the ball, you can't defend one on ones, and the way the ball slowly went into the net, David De Gea just looking at the ball going and saying, you know what I'm so learning, I've had enough, no, I've had enough, said it all, said it all. And once Manchester United conceded, they didn't do anything after that, guys. They did nothing. Second half came. We was as bad as we was, as we was in the first half. Tears team. Full-time 1-0, you know. Crystal Palace deserved everything that they had for them. Manchester United players have let every single people down. And I'm not surprised that these guys were not going to turn up today. It doesn't surprise me, guys. But it is what it is. Player-wise, everyone was shit. Bruno Fernandes is the sh pisses me off. Hannibal tried today. Good luck on him getting his first game, but he tried. But apart from that, Manchester United, man. Man United, Holic, Man United fan, it has been a disastrous season overall. Your ops winning as well. Congratulations to Manchester City to win the league. Because we thought it was going to let Liverpool win. Tottenham as well, making the Champions League. You got Brighton who saved us and beat West Ham three goals to one for us to be in the champion. I mean the Europa League because we was looking at Conference League football. So again, Manchester United finishing six, they will be in the Europa League, which is better. But it's been poor, man. Man of the match today, guys, is you guys. You guys right there, the whole entire season. Don't give the match, Bruno Fernandez and his teammates. 
all of them are trash, full of shit. They have let us down. They really have let us down. But big up to everyone that's tuning in. Let me know what your thoughts are on the game. Let me know who your man of the match was, your donkey of the match was, in the comments as well. But it is what it is. This has been your match reaction for the season by your guy, Ivor in Spice as well. Next season, guys, let's hope things have changed. Let's hope we have better match reactions, you know, better watch-alongs. We've got one more. We've got the watch along for the Champions League, and we're hoping that Liverpool do not win and Real Madrid beat them. Guys, it is what it is. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. Till next season, peace out. See you.